Myeloproliferative neoplasms, or MPNs, are rare blood cancers that occur when the bone marrow produces excess blood cells. Classic forms of MPN include polycythemia vera, or PV, essential thrombocythemia, or ET, and primary myelofibrosis, or PMF. Although patients with these MPNs are at high risk, timely diagnosis and intervention can add years to their lives. Treatment largely depends on the form of MPN, so accurate diagnosis of the form is critical. Over the last decade, diagnostics have improved thanks to analyses of mutations in specific genes. A Korean study investigated mutations in one such gene, called CalR, to understand its usefulness as an MPN diagnostic marker. Previous research shows that mutations in the JAK2 gene are the most frequent amongst all MPN subtypes. Those in the CalR gene are the second most frequent in ET and PMF, followed by those in MPL, which occur only in a few ET and PMF cases. Interestingly, the CalR mutation is not found in PV and is mutually exclusive of JAK2 and MPL mutations. This study used the direct sequencing method to investigate the frequency and type of CalR mutations amongst MPN patients, and their findings were confirmatory. The JAK2 V617F mutation was found in the majority of patients, CalR mutations in some ET and PMF patients, and the MPL mutation only in a few ET patients. Some patients, however, carried none of these three mutations. Half the patients with CalR mutations tested negative for JAK2 or MPL mutations, and only one ET patient carried both CalR and JAK2 mutations. This validates the mutual exclusivity of CalR mutations to JAK2 and MPL mutations. Also, ET patients with CalR mutations were younger than those with mutant JAK2. The researchers found five CalR mutations, all of which contained a common sequence. Targeting this sequence can improve MPN diagnostics. Together, these results confirm the potential of the CalR mutation as a powerful diagnostic tool in ET and PMF patients who test negative for JAK2 and MPL mutations. This could help improve the longevity and quality of life of people with blood cancer.